check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's up, guys? It's Juan Lee Juan. Yep. You already saw it on Bleacher Report everywhere on Instagram. Mavericks blew out the Clippers by 51 points, dude. Beat them by 51 points. Score was 124 to 73. Man, this is what we needed, desperately needed after starting the season 0 of 2. First loss against the Phoenix Suns and then the second loss on Christmas Day, which I wanted them to win so badly. But, of course, we don't have KP. So we were out-rebounded and outscored. Terrible, man. The score was 138 to 115. Terrible, man. I didn't think they lose that bad to the Lakers. We we're keeping up. We we're catching up. But then the Lakers got away with the win, obviously. Because Kawhi was out. And one of our best players, KP, was out. So, man, I feel bad for Kawhi Leonard, dude. He got elbowed so hard, dude, in the game. Man, I wouldn't even... I would have real, realized if I elbowed somebody. Serge Ibaka didn't even stop at that point. He just kept going. I'm like, damn, dude. You elbowed your own teammate that bad? You didn't even realize it? That's crazy, dude. He got elbowed so bad. He was bleeding from his mouth all over the court. Thing required eight stitches to fix Kawhi up, and he's out for this game. So obviously, damn, had did some damage to his jaw, dude. Like, hope he recovers smoothly. Of course he will, but he might be out on one more game at least. But anyway, just react to these Mavericks with Clippers highlights. I watched the full game. Really had to make some electric. Josh Richardson is really meshing in with the team chemistry of with Luka. I hated how they got rid of uh, Seth Curry because he was already balling last season. He was shooting a three ball pretty pretty good just to get Josh Richardson. But Josh Richardson's not bad, dude. He's a great addition to the team. I just wish we didn't have to get rid of uh, Seth Curry because we signed them again and then we got rid of him. I'm like, come on, man. Luka gets the first field goal of the game. Some Luca magic right here. Josh Richardson, Josh Richardson here makes a crazy shot with the and one. It was just all Mavericks offense here, dude. In the first quarter, look at that lob from Luca to Dwight Powell with the jam. They led in fast break points and everything. Look at this and one by Luca Doncic. Luka was going off in this game. Josh Richardson. Everybody was just shooting the ball well, dude. Crazy. Look at this crazy shot by Paul George. Makes a crazy little layup. Ooh, but that, ooh, man. I felt so good that the Mavericks blew out the Clippers. By 50 points, man. It's crazy. Dorian Finney-Smith hits a three right here. Luka, man. Look at the nice passing. And Maxi Kleba makes his three. I'm happy that Maxi Kleba is, has improved on his shooting because, man, he really gave us a hard time in the NBA bubble. There's just so many months of not practicing, and then they finally go straight into basketball. Kind of like this season, this beginning of the season again. They were they didn't play at all because, you know, COVID-19 taking its toll on everybody, on everything. Josh Richardson with three ball. Josh Richardson was balling in this game, dude. In this first quarter. And it just forced another Clippers turnover. Josh Richardson with another three right here. Hell yeah, dude. Mavericks basketball all around me. I'm happy they, they stepped up in this game without KP again. I don't know how long KP's going to be out for, but he should be able to come back next month. Paul George back in, back in into Trey Burke. Zubak with the offensive rebound putback. Luca, Willie Collie Stein setting the screen, and Kawhi. My bad. Look at Doncic here with the acrobatic finish. Luca. Paul George, a little jump shot. Mavericks are leading 30 to 11, dude. I turned on the TV. It was um, the score was like. I don't remember what the score started at, but they were winning by a good amount of points. And the Mavericks just kept scoring. I was like, bro, the Clippers are actually low-scoring quarterman? That's crazy. And Josh Richardson, dude, everybody hand in his face. It didn't matter, man. Josh Richardson was making everything. Man. Luca's always getting frustrated with the referees. I ain't going to lie. He's always getting mad. I think... He thinks it should have been a call. 
Then the referees be playing around with a lot of calls lately, you know. Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway makes an off balance shot. Score is a 38 13. James Johnson with the three ball, too. Yeah, everybody was shooting the ball well, man. I, I want to see more Bobin time. I want to see Bobin more in the game. Jalen Brunson was making his shots, dude. He made some couple jump shots, a three pointer. Everybody was shooting the ball pretty well, man, honestly, tonight. I mean, today. Look at this. Nice law from Jalen Brunson to Willie Cauley Stein. The canard with the three pointer. Look at Tim Hardaway. Damn, with the three ball. Bro, just watching this game, I was like, bro, is this a dream or what, man? Willie Cauley Stein with the jam. With the jam, Mark Cuban. You know your owner, man, going to be happy when the Mavericks are balling out here, man. You already know. Dorian Finney Smith with the three ball. 54 16. I'm like, bro, is this a dream or what? Like, am I imagining this? Like, wow, dude. Like, it was such a good game, dude. It was like everything perfect. Woo! Jalen Brunson with the spin, the layup. He banks it in. Turnover. Tim Hardaway with the slam dunk. Bam! Score is 60 to 18, man. Second quarter, 60 to 18. Jalen Brunson with the. Bro, everybody was making the shots, man. Jalen Brunson with the little jump shot right there. Everybody was contributing, man. Everybody. Should have been offensive foul there by Paul George. Stuck his elbow in his face. But Paul George makes a jump shot. He Jalen Brunson with the fake. And bam! Three pointer by Jalen Brunson. Score is 65 to 20. Luca right here. I think he made a crazy shot right here. A little fadeaway shot by Luca. I think Luca in the first quarter had like 13 points, five rebounds, and three assists or something like that. Then with that sound, like Luca with an and one right here. 69 to 23 right now. Luca made that free throw, so he made it 70 to 23. Interior pass on the entry to Sergio with a little with, the with a little jump hook. There you go. Turnover, so another turnover. Josh Richardson, Richardson here, the layup. Could have been easily end one, but I guess the referee is in call. Either way, Josh Richardson don't need that. He's gonna make the layup. And Trey Burke with a three. Bro, this is all Mavericks offense. Here. This is where we got the 50 point advantage right here. 77 to 27. Damn, dude. The Clippers got, had nothing going on, dude. And the Clippers got on a little run in the third quarter, but then the Mavericks kept scoring, which that's what helped. I was like, don't, don't, don't get, let's not get over ourselves. And then. Woo! Luca made a nice little layup, man. And one. Crazy layup he made right now. Scores 90 to 50. I didn't want the Mavericks to go overboard and start getting comfortable and then the Clippers make a big run, so I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want our lead to evaporate. I wanted the Mavericks to keep scoring. Stay humble and keep scoring. Don't get it. Don't start show showboarding, you know. Let's keep it calm and collective. We keep scoring. Let's just do run our game, man. Look at this. Luca goes for the fake and he just turns around. He passes it to Tim Hardaway Jr. with the wide open three. 99-52, dude. Luca with the three pointer. Nah, he missed. Willie Collins signed with the offensive rebound. Dishes it out to Tim Hardaway. Bang! Bang! Bang. <laughs> even Willie Collinstein was making some jumpers. Look, even he is like, why not? Let me make a jump shot myself. Even the young guys were balling, dude. They start putting in Josh Green, Tyler Terry. Bobin finally was playing. Look at this dunk by Josh Green. This nice dunk, dude. Easy, man. That was nice. Second home game. They're one and one. 
Look at that, man. Good fast break. Look at this turnover. Tyler Terry gets it, dishes it to Josh. Josh Green to one do. Bobon. Over the top of the defender, Bobon. It's crazy, dude. I can't believe I watched the game that where they led at halftime for the largest, largest win over halftime, largest lead in halftime in NBA history. 124 to 73. 51. 51 point victory, second largest in NBA history. So yeah, that was crazy, dude. The Clippers was Mavericks today. I can't believe I watched NBA history unfold. Luka had himself a great game. Josh Richardson was balling. Everybody was hooping. Man, I can't wait to see how it's going to look with KP, you know. It's going to be easier. We're going to have more size. Of course, we got Dwight Powell, Maxi Kleba, Bobin, James Johnson, Willie Collison hustling for the rebounds in the, in the paint. But this past uh, 25th of Christmas, Christmas Day, it's terrible, man. They got a rebounded badly. But then, of course, we don't have KP, so I think that would have been – KP would have played a, a different role in the game, you know, he would have contributed to some points. So, I think today it was fair, honestly. I believe it was fair because they had they didn't have no Kawhi, we didn't have no KP. So I think it was honestly fair. But anyways, good game by the Dallas Mavericks, man. And I'm gonna be reacting to the games, significant games. I'm not gonna be doing one every every time due to my my scheduling and my editor's scheduling. I'm only gonna be doing like every once in a while reacting to Dallas Mavericks games, dude, because there's so many games during the regular season. I want to, I mean, I, I think I can do it, but I'm not sure. For right now, I'm just gonna react to every other significant game. Maybe one every week or something like that. But right now, this today was a significant game. It won by 51 points, which is uh, their second largest margin of victory. Yeah, so that's pretty significant, you know. Pretty good accomplishment today for the Mavericks. But. So we'll see how this season unfolds, and hopefully KP is able to recover back from his uh, knee. He's already looking good. He's at 90% or so. He, I even thought he was going to play on Christmas because he, they said he was gonna, he might have wanted to play. That's what I heard. But then he ended up not playing. So it's better for him to recover. I hope he's not injury prone, dude, like for the rest of his season. Obviously, he might be injury prone for the rest of his career, honestly. He's already had Achilles injury then a knee, knee surgery. So he's already injury prone. But I hope he can um, take care of his body, you know, throughout this season. He might be resting games, obviously. So, sort of the Luka. Well, yeah, man. Today was a good game today, man. Thank God. The Cowboys won. The Mavericks won. 50-point blowout against the Clippers. They had no Kawhi, but, yeah, still counts. Finally, Mavericks are able to get a win in this season. Yeah, that is it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a good New Year's Eve. And yeah, looking forward to see what this year, this brand new year unfolds for me. Hope everybody has a great year. You know, obviously this whole 2020 has been, it's been great for some people. It's been great for me, honestly, even though I wasn't able to do whatever I wanted to do, my plans, I'm still have to be grateful that I'm here, you know? So I'm looking forward towards next year to see what, what we can do up until maybe everything will be sort of normal in June, hopefully. But these next couple of months with the vaccine already rolling out, hopefully everything will be great. Start changing around, you know? Well, that is it, you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Mavericks vs. Clippers. Post game reaction. I watched it live, but I want to react to it to the highlights because it's easier. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you think about my videos. This is Juan and Juan out.